Data Farming Simulator. And today I want to have a quick look at a recently released mod, New Career Gameplay Default Settings. Catchy little title. It's a mod by Red Dog. And what it does is very clever. So if, like me, you like playing on, say, three day months rather than one day months, this will allow you to start a new save with that already set so that you don't have to deal with August or whatever the first month happens to be if you're using start from spring that kind of thing as being stuck on one month one day month you can also preset a whole bunch of the settings that's less interesting to me but the uh, the setting presetting the number of days per month I think is really cool so I'm just going to show you how to enable the mod where the xml file is to configure it and that's pretty much it so what we're going to do is i've got the mod installed um we're going to go to career and you want to just open up and you save any map any settings as long as you've got this um, new career default settings enabled when you start what that's going to do is once the game starts up it's going to create a folder in your mod settings directory and within that is the xml file that controls how things work i'll show you where all of that is in a moment but the first step is to just create a new save with that enabled obviously this only affects new saves and once you've created your new save you can remove the mod if you want to it doesn't matter if you leave it in there but it, it's done its job so we're just going to start up a new save and then if we go into the settings you'll see we are now on three day months um and it's pre-configured a bunch of stuff for us it set all of the ai worker stuff to off um and most of these things you can configure and it has also created the folder that we need so now we can just quit the game you don't need to save or anything and head on out to your mods folder so you're going to want to navigate to my games farming simulator 22 um which is in documents okay um, and then within that you'll see a mod settings folder you probably won't have this many mods folders it's how i manage my mods for the different saves and the testing that i do but you will probably have mods and mod settings. So go into mod settings and you will have a variety of different XML files and folders depending on what mods you run. And you want to go into FS22 RDM new career defaults and then open up this XML file. So to open it up, just double click on it. Um, I will be opening it in Notepad++. You can open it in uh, Notepad or anything else that you like it's just a text file and then you'll see what we have here is the different options you can set so seasonal growth on and off so zero or one um, days per period just to show you that it works and so that's 12. Um, you can choose if you want a fixed visual month i'm not entirely sure how you configure that one so um yep whether you want crop destruction on plowing on field stones no one likes field stones we set field stones to false um whether you want weeds auto stop start stop start breaking trailer fuel limit um dirt fuel usage all these kind of things um and then the ai bits down here if you want to know how to set these what you can do is create a save game configure these as you want them and then if you go into the folder for the save game let me show you actually um so if I go up to my Farming Simulator 22 directory and go into a save game, you've got career save game .xml. If you open that up, it has all these things in it. So growth mode, one, seasons or not. Um, fruit destruction, plowing, stones, fuel usage. So um, all those kind of things. I don't have fixed visual month set, but if you did, that would be in here and it would show you how to configure it. So that's how you would do that so we've set it to 12 day months we've turned off stones so i'm going to save it it's important that you save it and then we are going to get back into farm sim and we'll see how it looks so back in the game we're just going to create a new save again and uh obviously 
you would create it on whatever map you want to play on now with whatever mod you want installed all that kind of thing i'm just showing you how it works um yeah this would be you starting your new save game on whatever new map you've just downloaded that you're all excited about all that kind of thing obviously you can't apply this to an existing save um, so we go in and then if we go into the settings we will see we have 12 day months and we have field stones off so there you go you will notice that the screen's gone black um if you just click on one of the others and then back it's fine um i assume that's some sort of little feature of the script interacting with the game at first start you could then save the game go out and remove the mod if you wanted you don't need it anymore um and that's it pretty much it's a really cool little mod um when I saw it released, I thought it was really good, and then I kind of forgot about it. And then uh, um, Connor on my Discord was asking about where the file was, so I thought it would be a really good idea to make a little video. So if you have found this video useful, please click the like button. Any comments, questions, or suggestions, stick them below, and I will see you next time.